Look, Dad, I know you had Bobby targeted to take over Deb. It's okay. I mean, he deserved it. Well, now it's between you and Macy, and the best man wins. And I also know you don't think that's going to be me, but that's okay, too, because I'm going to prove you wrong, just like I'm going to prove I had nothing to do with Bobby's accident. Dad, it was a setup. Somebody wanted him dead. Speak. Mm -hmm. Listen, when I'm paying top dollar for a job, I expect it to be done right. Capiche? Mm -hmm. Just make sure there's no trail. Bye-bye. She'll pick me. Will you chill? Oh my god, Tasha. Miss Mulaney just smiled at me. Oh my god, do you know what that probably means? It means I got it. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna be okay. All right, here it comes. John Keys. Jenna Marlin, Tina Grabowski. Grabowski, oh my god, oh my god. Melody O'Brien. Tasha James. Oh my god, Tasha, you made it! Oh god, I hope I made and it too. And our last girl is Amanda Keats.
you don't want this gig, Jade, just let me know, OK? What? Where were you last night? When I'm counting on you to do late set, you better show up. I'm sorry. You're sorry, huh? That's it? No explanation? What's wrong, Will? I mean, you sound like you've lost your best friend. Yeah, uh... Yeah, I, I did, Martin. Will? Will, what is it? The lab, Martin. What about the lab? It's, uh... It's gone. What? There was uh, a, an explosion, Martin. It's uh, pretty bad. Oh, sweet Jesus. Nora Erickson was there, Martin, and uh, she said. Uh, she's uh, dead, uh, Martin. God. Well, what about Stephanie? Will, did Stefan make it out? Mama, say nothing. Papa, come here. Mama, you heard say. Ni kan inte vara döda. Det här är bara en mardröm. Och snart så kommer jag... I can't take any chances. Until I know what caused the explosion, I've got to take extra precautions. I want you and the Ericsson kids on the company jet tonight. Chrissy and, and Alex, they're in shock. Martin, I can't, I cannot hustle them off to Miami. That's exactly what you're going to do. Look, once this hits the fan, the bank and the press are gonna be breathing down my neck. We need to present a united front. They lost their parents, Martin. I lost my closest friend. What do you... Will, I, I don't mean to sound callous, but somebody's got to think clearly here. Maybe going through everything with Bobby kind of numbed me, but this is not open for discussion. You and the kids will be in Miami tomorrow. We'll have a press announcement. Right. Well, do what you have to do. Will? I'm depending on you. You've got to pull us through this.
was that about? There's been an explosion at Death Deck. What? We lost Stefan. Oh, jeez. How? I mean, how did it happen? Who knows? Maybe a malfunction in the electrical system. Christ, we packed a lot of combustible chemicals in that lab. So do you think it was an accident? Of course it was an accident. Just like the car crash. Don't get on that again. First Bobby, now Death Tech? Come on, Dad, think about it. Somebody is out to get the Devons. Yeah, this should take the swelling down a bit. Mm. Why are you doing this? Anybody else would have fired me. I'm a freaking bleeding heart, haven't you heard? Besides, I've been down this road once or twice. I could have used a friend. Figuring you can too, huh? Oh, thanks. Hold still, okay? All right, look, just go heavy on the concealer. You'll look as good as new for your first set, all right? Thanks. I really mean it. Just don't let him beat on you again, okay? He's not like that. Honest. Sometimes he gets a little bent out of shape when I don't do what he says, but he doesn't mean it. Bull! Don't look at me like that either. Wait, this isn't the first time, is it? Right. Look, you've got to promise me you're not going to let that creep use you as a punching bag again. Promise me, Jade. Come on. Yeah, sure. I'll try. Just do it, Jade. Just walk out. If you need a place, just come see me, OK? What the hell happened to you? My life is over. Come on, it's just cheerleading. And anyway, you can try it for second string after homecoming. I just thought that... I thought that it was going to be easier. These past few years were just... Well, they were awful. And... I don't know. I just... I thought this was going to be my year. That's just my nightmare. I hate feeling like this. Like I'm useless. But that's all I am. Useless. And it's no wonder nobody wants me. Not Jordan, not the cheerleading squad. Nobody. Come on, really. It's stupid, you know? Just, just a bunch of girls running around in short skirts, two sizes too short. In fact, I think it's so stupid, I'm gonna quit just to prove my point. I'm gonna march right back in there and tell Mrs. Mullaney to stuff it. It's because I'm a loser it doesn't mean you have to. Get this, you're not a loser. I gotta go meet Abby in the science lab. Our project's due Friday. But I hate to leave you like this. I'm okay. Really, I'm fine. You can go. I'll catch up later. <laughs> what do you want? What, you wanna throw another smoothie at me? Chrissy. Vou comer. Ah, tu não tens nenhum brother. Eu vou ver isso não. Eu sou o velho prata tondra. Tu fatar ainda? Não é handla ainda um meio, ok? Não é handla um mamã. E eu tenho que ainda discutir a nobre com ele. Kan du bara lyssna på mig i två sekunder? Ja, men det är ju slut. Det finns inget förhållande längre. Kan inte du bara släppa det här? Mm. Det är slut. Mm. Det är slut. Hon är borta. Borta? Vadå? Vad pratar du om? Hon är död, Nils. 
Mamma är död. That's for your trousseau. These are the sketches that I showed Antonio Avanti. I guess he wasn't as hot for them as I thought. Don't look so happy. Hey, I'm the guy who encouraged you to go for the interview, remember? Until you found out the job was in Miami. Look, I'm not going to deny I'm not thrilled about you moving. But it's not up to me, is it? Anyway, this Avanti guy didn't say no. He didn't say yes, either. Maybe I'm just not as good as I thought. Maybe you just put too much pressure on yourself. You know, there could be a hundred different reasons he doesn't hire you and none of them have to do with whether you're good or not. That's just the name of the game, Gabby. Why is this job suddenly such a do or die thing for you anyway? It's not. Could have fooled me. Ever since I came back from Boston, it's like you're a different person. You know, honey, if it's not the job, what is it? Maybe I just don't like being rejected. When were you at the old Sunday shop? Dad, just hear me out, okay? This is all starting to make some kind of weird sense. I'm listening. Okay. Hypothetical. Say somebody has it in for Devin. Or maybe for you. So where do they strike? Hypothetically, my business. Exactly. I mean, it's no secret this millennia campaign is the biggest thing to hit the cosmetics industry in what? 10 years? And I'm figuring we hold the exclusive patent for another few years? Two years. Okay. So what's the best way to cost you time and make sure it never gets to market? See, I don't even want to go there. Dad, I'm telling you. There was something wrong with Bobby's car. Stop bringing everything around to Bobby. Lucas, let it go. I can't. Damn it, Dad. You said you'd hear me out. Look, Bobby was the head of the cosmetics division, right? So first they get rid of him. That sends Devin into a tailspin until they can regroup. Then the lab explodes. The head scientist is blown away, which means the project is either delayed or totally axed. Do the math. I'll take it under consideration. What is it with you, Dad, huh? You want me to be responsible for Bobby so bad? You're ready to risk the whole company rather than see what's staring you in the face? I told you to leave Bobby out of this. Lucas, please, just keep all of this to yourself. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Dad. anything. That's the way it's going to stay.
pratar om, Casey? Jag förstår ingenting. Vad var det igår kväll? När jag kom tillbaka till klubben har alla gått. Alex, han... Ja, jag visste, jag gick och hämtade hans tävlingsformulär. Men när jag hade hämtat den så åkte jag tillbaka och det var alla borta. Vi åkte till labbet och... Ja, till labbet och... Det var hemskt. Vad var det som var hemskt, Chrissy? Det var en explosion. En explosion? Det var... Det var rök överallt och det var... Det var bitar av byggnaden som var låg på marken. Man kunde inte... Man kunde inte gå någonstans. Det var som en tjock mån av rök. Preventative measures? Yeah. Um, Alex, you and Chrissy are going to have to come to Miami with me. To Miami? That's no way. This is not a request. We are flying out tonight. You come home every night like a good Devon wife. Show up at a family dinner once in a while, make some insipid chit-chat with the other trophy wives, smile a lot at Dad. You know the routine. Jesus, Macy, since when has your biggest concern been the table settings? <laughs> it's Martin. He's got a penchant for strong family values. You know what? I was thinking the other day, little Macy Jr. might not be completely out of the question. How do you feel about that? Well, sweetheart, I'd strangle him at birth.